Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is another Alice. Um, you might remember, anyway, I won't go into that. She is massive. This is a hundred year old doily with some applique. That is a three inch spine and she's already sold. This is going to a wonderful home across the ditch. She is six inches wide by nearly 10 inches long. She was made from an old um, law journal from about the 1800s. And so I have acrylic painted, I've stenciled using texture paste, sanded down between layers, um, there's raw umber, there's rose matter, and there's forest green in acrylic paints. The spine I have painted also, and um, it's just a simple, I mean, this is massive. It is three signatures, and we have a um, hidden spine. So they're all sewn into that red hidden spine there right and seam binding okay now when you open her up I mean there's gold book book corners I love this particular image of Alice it's really delicious then when you open her up she's got the inside covers I've just used embossing gold whoops <laughs> embossing gold if the camera's picking that up I think it is might have too much light on a subject hang on let's see if I can just rejig it a bit oh that's a bit better isn't it yeah that's a bit better right those beautiful gold uh, rose rose gold crown paper clips there um, a, a collaged letter envelope I seem to be all thumbs today and the inside pages are from a beautiful antiqued um, paper that was from 1854 and I have done that on the three signatures they each have their own separate cover and all decoupaged, um, not decoupaged, um, mod podged to protect the very fragile paper and you can read it because I thought it was very important to, to um, it was so fragile that I thought it was very, very important to conserve it and it makes fascinating reading. So yes, three massive signatures I've really I've really put the boat out there push the boat out as they say I just couldn't stop this is probably my fourth Alice journal in as many months um, each signature has I think 10 pages but that doesn't matter because she's already sold so I thought for posterity I shall record it because um, actually I might turn that light off that's a bit better. Stenciling, coffee dyed pages. There's still lots and lots of writing space. All the ephemera handmade. There's a really long envelope. I've used Daphne Diary pages again. Um, there's some little ribbon clips uh, there. I was going to put a little dangle on that. I might still actually before I mail it off. And then filled with goodies. Beautiful, beautiful goodies. Tags, backed, sewn around, seam binding. Every page, a digital on the back of a coffee dyed page. So they're sturdy and stitched around. Lots of gold stenciling, embossing. Everywhere I thought I could do it without, without going overboard. There's some of the law pages there. You can see New South Wales government insignia there um, old recycled papers so it gives it a beautiful authentic feel 
This is a hidden paper clip and over the page I've just popped it over the side so that it can act as a pocket and hold a hold a tag on either side. Right, I'm not sure. I hope I hope you can see it. I should probably stand up. Yes, I think you can. Yep. Okay, I'll press on. So there we have three tags sewn together um, to make a large pocket which holds a beautiful large extra writing extra writing spot all lined with coffee paper and that is another that's a Tim Holtz stamp there and I've gold embossed it's one of the Corinthian designs big tag beautiful well if I do so so myself <laughs> it's so pretty okay so the brief for this um, for this big journal was to have lots and lots of hidden writing spaces um, as secret secret little writing spots so I think there's about 17 I think I counted up right so here we have a secret in there and then we pull this down for another secret writing space in there and then you've got all the all the beautiful tags this is another secret writing space here that folds out like that like so this swings around on a little swivel to keep it closed then we have another one of the uh, similar where that flips up and then this comes down just tucks down and flips flips down so you've got a lovely long space and you would never know unless you are the owner and then um, there's that beautiful washi tape shop Alice in Wonderland tape set beautiful I'll try and make this as quick as possible middle of the signature this is another secret writing spot you flip that up and you have a spot in there to write and then you flip this out and there's more hidden spot under there so that that's really sweet some more hidden covered writing spots and we've got nice tags there in a pocket and I've got to remember now <laughs> which is all the hidden spots does this have one no it doesn't but we have um, cards and writing spots and this is where I use all the Daphne diary pages um, because I love the I love the quality of them, the feel of them. More stenciling, more uh, recycled envelopes, front and back. A really nice cloth um, ruffle there. That's a Daphne's diary. I just thought that winged chair was so sweet. And then we have. Um, Yes, there's nothing hidden in that one. Then we've got some vellum flips. I am partial to vellum flips, painting the roses red. And this one is a little hidden side pocket there. I've left a little tag just sticking out of it so that um, the owner will know when and where the little hidden places are. Second signature. That's that beautiful line dot arrow paper. A teacup, which is really sweet. Drink me um, on a tea bag that's been emptied. And then some various tickets. Here we've got a gorgeous label. These were done for me by my wonderful sister. With She bought some die cuts and, and uh, sent them down to me very kindly. 
and that is um, a nice love heart that I've stuck on there and I've covered it with music paper and some embossing in gold beautiful big journal card there now what do we have here oh yes now we've got some flip outs so we've got recycled envelopes we've got writing space in here oops sorry I'm off screen writing space in here that flips to the side then there's a uh, a pocket and for a, for a journal card which is nice and then a pocket in behind for for another large tag that flips shut and then this one flips out as well so flip flip to the left flip to the right um, a poison bottle and a tape measure a collage there she's reaching up to Humpty Dumpty and I've I've actually split uh, that image that's a that's a sweet image right much more writing space notes stenciling here we've got a fabric pocket that that fabric i just adore that fabric and there's the the uh, white rabbit and that's some that's some lovely paper i've used so many kits in this so we've got um collaging on envelopes we've got journal cards more envelopes and here oh this is I went a bit I've been a bit, I went a bit crazy with this this is a tiny little pair of white gloves for the rabbit and they <laughs> they're actually Barbie doll gloves um, but I might try and make myself tiny little pairs um, they can be really expensive Barbie doll clothes um, or gloves as I've discovered but um, that's really sweet and I made a tiny little white paper fan so he's got his fan and his gloves in that tiny little envelope a little drink a tiny little drink me label and a tiny little tiny 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 little ticket so that's just a bit of fun one of those glorious hearts made from the old sewing paper and here we have another secret writing space which is just in there no more there a side uh, a side pocket made from measuring tape And what have we got here? Another envelope collaged with some nice fabric on the back. Oh dear, I'm sorry if I'm out of focus. Here I've used a nice little wooden um, keyhole that on a on a brad, so I can flip it to the side and pull pull this down to reveal a long writing spot hidden. And of course, this is a nice heavy key holding this flap down and that's your other hidden writing spot there. A bit of nice silver. I used a nice silhouette uh, image there which you get free off the internet to make a nice journal card. Um, what have we got here? Is this a secret one? No, this is not... <laughs> I should know what I've done, but you just don't. Um, you have to go back through it and discover, and it's really fun because you get to discover it all over again. Now this one is a huge writing board. Inside, this is the middle signature and the back page, and I've done a, a writing board, nice and stiff, and that is a lovely uh, die-cut Alice. It's really thick chipboard which makes a really good um, pull. So that just slides in there and it can stick up in the middle, which is really nice. So when it's displayed, it'll stick up. They're gorgeous images there I've left alone. Now this is the last signature and it's got a huge pocket in, in the cover there. 
with a really big journaling card that was out of the Daphne's diary, a gorgeous big pocket watch. And I've put on some bling there, which makes a great, a great um, grab there with some nice fabric sewn all around. And then in here is another one of these uh, booklets, which is just writing space in, in, uh, in that. But you've got a pocket on the front of it. And then I've done just a cute little writing spot in there, which you can just slip in. Those labels and pulls are so gorgeous. Right, so that goes back in the in the big journal, in the big um, pocket. Right, then I've used a key hand. This is just made out of um, cardboard, really stiff, on a brad. And that's holding that closed so that that's another secret spot. And then it's got some nice heavy metal corners so that it holds it closed and then you can turn the watch hand um, this was out of a Daphne's diary and I thought that is so Alice and I've just used some beautiful gold acrylic paint to blot out all the uh, text around it I thought that is so sweet and very appropriate and then some tags in the back um, and this is just a a piece of paper I've made into a pocket and put a lovely red rose on that and the the color the colorway works so beautifully there well I think it works beautifully it sounds like I hope it doesn't sound like I'm being so you pull this tab out and you have a secret spot in here and a pocket down the bottom you push that to the right and the same on the left which is really lovely, especially for quotes and things. And then the middle uh, is more writing spots, but the whole thing closes to make a nice pocket. And then one of those lovely keys that I've used as a um, belly band. That was just an image free and I've used the glossy accents on that. And in behind is a tag, but it's two tags more secret writing spots but it just looks like one tag and that just fits in there then I've done a recycled envelope sorry about that it's got a mower man out there mowing the lawn and this was as a result of shabby dabby doodah's re um, cycling playing cards and I've made a pretty little embossed gold uh, crown for her the Queen of Hearts and makes a lovely belly band on a piece of uh, green velvet ribbon and there's a there's a book page in there and a nice big playing card on the other side of this is another wee envelope with some little goodies in it and we've just got some tags little price tags little tickets just some fun little things here we have uh, another another um, pocket system where the same thing is. This will just pop down like that and open out and then pop back up and another nice big... I didn't have a flamingo but in Daphne's diary she had this gorgeous peacock and I thought, hmm, flamingo, peacock? I'm sure the Queen of Hearts would have had peacocks in a royal garden so I popped that in there. Um, a flip out a flip out page um, using that lovely wide washi tape and I thought that quote which was in a kit from line.arrow the doors kit I think uh, and I thought that is very appropriate we keep moving forward opening up new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths and uh, some more tags, the rabbit and Alice. The center of that last signature. Then we've got another uh, envelope made from 1918 law papers. I mean, this feels old. This feels like an attic treasure already. 
and the smell too I just I just think it's really I just love working with the old paid pages the papers and if we don't take them and rescue them they will just disintegrate and here we have another large there's no there's no openings on that one just filled with tags um, this one on the back contains a die cut that my sister did for me of the clocks just turned that sideways and popped a quote on it but on the side of this envelope I've done this really cute little scroll because the white rabbit has a scroll in his hand um, and you just undo the ribbon and it's all glued on it's actually printed onto vellum and you can roll it and and put it out if everybody minded their own business the world would go around a great deal faster than it does and then roll it back in and it's on the side of the book so and at the back so that it's um it's always going to be there and it's going to be okay another recycled envelope um, love the crown, love the fan um, and here's another one of those gorgeous little I love these, these are made from old index cards that are tea dyed and that just oops, that just pulls out like that for another secret writing space and we're getting very close to the back now. Um, more pockets, more stenciling. And here I've uh, got some paper flowers and I've put them along the edge of a card which, which are with the lovely image. I had to flatten them and I had to paint them um, in the right colors. But it's actually removable envelope with a journal card. So you can place that any way you like, but I thought that was really fun. And at the back, it won't get squished. Um, and that's it. That's the that's the back, which matches the front. And there you can see the really thick spine, which is a floating spine glued in. So there we have it, all recorded for. Uh, for posterity and so that I'll remember because these babies they're, they're now going all out they're leaving me and flying off and I never remember and it's really gorgeous to look back and see the work that's gone into that so thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you sorry for the noise bye see ya